A door. Another door. Damn this water. God. Let me go. Oh, yes, it opened. What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here. Sea deck. <laughs> B deck. Hurry. Hurry. A deck's next. Congratulations, you know the alphabet. Oh. What? People? Hello, friends. More people. people. Um. Uh. I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. S uh, silver hair? Huh? Of course. <laughs> One of us. I was literally about to say, okay, we're gonna call you Silver until we learn what your name is. <laughs> okay. Alright then. What? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh... Huh. <sighs> uh... <laughs> ah! What was that all about? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Eh? The doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four? And this one says... Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too. My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open! Damn it! <laughs> Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Yeah, you're gonna break your way through a giant metal door. 200 IQ plays from Silver over here. Out of my way. Oh, great. Now Mountain's gonna try his hand at bashing through the giant metal door. <laughs> That's not- that's not how this works. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. It's a giant metal door that's probably locked. There must well, be not, some okay. other way. Uh, obviously it's locked. I meant to say probably locked by the same digital root thing that we found in our room. So, no, you're not gonna break through through brute force. Solve 3 out of 10 attempt. Huh. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. And I'm being hypnotized by it. Ooh. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still. Okay, if Mountain couldn't do it, what do you. You're definitely not gonna be able to break through the door. Ugh. Damn it! Are there any other doors? I I'm guessing that there's. Uh, again with the jump scare! He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It was a girl. She looks to be the same age as Junpai. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpai had seen her somewhere before. Remember, remember in yesterday's episode when I said something along the lines of... Kind of reminds me of Danganronpa, where there's other people, and you're all stuck in some elaborate, twisted game. Well, now we've run into 
we've run into a person we knew a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Plot twist, it's our long-lost lover! Woohoo! He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew he knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpai, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Without saying a word, Junpai walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpai stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship struck a second time. <laughs> the quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpai leapt to catch her, or so he thought. Instead, they both fell to their deaths. Oh. Oh. Uh, hi there. How you doing today? Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his yeah. own. He was flat on his back and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship. What? What? Well, the, everything was quiet except for that other, except for that sound we can hear. You know, I, I guess it's not that quiet. The silence was complete, a thick muffling blanket. At last the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh, is that you, Jumpy? Jumpy. Okay, so I'm guessing I was guessing I've been pronouncing his name wrong. That's probably supposed to be pronounced Jun Junpei, and not not Jumpy. I apologize for that. Jumpy, Jumpy. Her words echoed through Jumpy's. I, I did it again. Ju Jumpy's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane. Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpai had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. And that moment... I... again with the... Mm. Okay, maybe cool up with the background noise there, buddy. The static's getting on my nerves. What? What's that voice? This is... That guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? Nonary game. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Hey, I, I got one. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Okay, seriously, do we really need the background noise through all of this dialogue? It, it's actually kind of starting to annoy me. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? If you can do it without the static in the background, that'd be great. On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. No, you can't. Can, can you please? He's not even talking. Just turn off the static. I, I get it, you want to show off your cool new voice filter or whatever, but trust me, we don't want to hear that static going on. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that yep, number... Yep, that's what I thought. Digital roots. ...who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however... Limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Ha! Imagine if those were the rules for an actual escape room instead of having that one guy who just sits there and does nothing while you all do the work for him. I've never been to an escape room, as I said in the last episode, but I, I'm, I guarantee you that's the case. I am guarantee you every, in every group that's ever gone to an escape room, there's one person who's just sitting there twiddling his thumbs like, Yep, I'm here. I'm not actually using my brain to think, I'm just kind of here. And can you please turn off that static, my god? Please, I'm begging you. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. 
bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Well, that's nice. At least the th static finally freaking stopped. Hey, you bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. I, I, I'll, I would much rather take Silver shouting in my ear over the static perpetually in the background. Trust the me. Others. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> Everyone has the exact same reaction, just Ooh. exasperated, an exasperated grunt. <sighs> Too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us, or does he have some other purpose? Find out next time on. Find out the answers to all these questions next time on Zero Escape. Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this this zero says. It it uh, our our choices are literally sit here and die or open the doors and solve the puzzles. I I, I think I think we should go with the, the the option where we solve the puzzles and also don't die. That, that's only the best option to me. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. Uh, what's what's your what's your brilliant idea? Break down the door again because that that went so well last time we tried. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. The water level keeps rising like this. We're all gonna drown. No. I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's different. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. It looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Ah, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. What, those two metal doors? Yeah, they, they, they really scream suspicion to me. No numbers on either door, and I don't see an authentication device either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn. Hey, guys, over here. 
There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man! Give me a hand! Do not- please do not tell me you're about to try to force down the door for the second time. Using force, I see. No, Let's give it a try. Be yeah, because this went so well for you last time. <laughs> Can we give a round of applause for... Mountain Lion, that's the why they're called- okay. Alright, we're gonna call you Team Mountain Lion, because that's what your names are. G give a round of applause- Round of applause? Round of applause, everybody, for Team Mountain Lion over here with their 200 IQ plays. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Yeah, all two of you. Wow. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer. <laughs> try using your brain. I like the I like the idea that it's just he he's told, hey, try using your brain. He just goes, huh? what's that? What's a brain? Jesus Christ. A keyhole. Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No. I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> well, where? Well, 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 what would be the fun of the game if it were easy? What's this? Okay, that looks like an eye that's staring at me, and I don't like it. There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? It means the keyhole is staring into my soul. Hey, that rhymed. Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. Those are probably elevators. They, the, 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 f the very first thing I thought of when I saw those was elevators. I think they're elevators. Yeah, that's what I figured. There's an inverted triangle button by them. An inver- a, a what now? May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. That, that, that is the most bizarre way you could have possibly described that image. I... okay. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then, the mark on the other door... I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. There! The two doors next to the stairs. The person voicing Lion sounds like a weird mixture between Buzz Lightyear and... Uh, Great Uncle Ford from Gravity Falls. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Oh, really? Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows, too. Huh. They're all covered, in other words. There's no way out. <laughs> all the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. And you know what I said earlier? I said our choices are literally sit here and commit, die, or go through the doors and solve the puzzles and possibly escape. Which of those two do you think sounds like the better option? We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. D d no. D d okay. It, the, if we sit here, there's a 100% chance that we die. If we go through the doors, there's less of a chance because there's actually, we have the opportunity to solve puzzles to escape. But if we sit here, we are guaranteed to drown. I, mm. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. Okay, so uh, 
this, this is such a simple concept. So if we if we stay, we we, we don't correct. We don't know what happens if we if we go to the other side of the door, but we do know what happens if we stay here, which is nothing. We drown. So our, our choices are stay here and have guaranteed death, or go through the door and have a chance at survival. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh. Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. Yes, that is a good idea. Figure out what everyone's numbers are, and then based on that information, we can we can figure out uh, who goes through which door. Great idea. We don't know anything about each other. That. Please do not tell me we're gonna, you're going to sit me down in front of everybody and take me through your emotionally scarring backstories one at a time. Please, please do not tell me we're going to have to do that. I really, really do not want to sit here and listen to all of you tell me your emotionally scarring backstory. Please. I want to know who you guys are. No, please, no. I I'm, I'm happy to find out that information over the course of the game. Please don't just dump all the exposition on me at once. Who you are. Where no, you came from, no. Why you ended no, up. please, no. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. Oh, I'm curious, but typically that stuff gets gets revealed naturally over the course of the game. Please don't just dump it all on me now. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Ben, what? Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. You really think he brought you here without knowing what your names are? Seriously. How do you- Okay, another 200 IQ statement from Mountain over here. He just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. Yeah, she just said we knew each other in elementary school. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. Okay. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. Well, I know all your names. This guy's Mountain, the other guy's Lion, we got Silver, we got Pink Hair, we got all the names. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. By the way, I'm aware, I'm aware that they're not their actual names, but for all intents and purposes, they're, I, I, don't, I don't need to know any other names. That I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly content with those names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Great, Mountain works just fine. Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. All right. Like, I'll be seven. But I liked you better as Mountain. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. But <laughs> why? Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? All right, fair enough. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then, I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. So, uh, we can send me, Snake, and Seven through door number five. And then I think let me get a calculator out. So the other the other numbers. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That that checks out. So we send me Snake and Seven to door number five, and then we send everybody else through door number four. That checks out really well. Also, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted out of this section was just to just tell each other what our numbers are, so we can figure out who to send through which door, and then we're good. And I'll learn. I'll learn. Our Lauren. I'll learn more about the characters naturally over the course of the gameplay. This is what I wanted. Thank you for not going over with exposition. I really appreciate that game. Clover. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? All right, my number's five, so my code name is gonna be... Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh, yeah. Uh, then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide... Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. 
All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay, then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five. Six is June. Seven is seven. So who, wait, who's number nine? And eight is Lotus. Oh, it, oh wait, no, it, is, is number nine gonna be that, that insane guy from the beginning? Of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. It's gonna be that insane guy from earlier. One left. Is... Yeah, this crazy that person. guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Process of elimination there, buddy. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. And, and, and what's your plan, genius? Teleport through the walls to get out of here? Good luck with that. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you wanna know? Yeah. All right, let me show you. I'm gonna do this. And he's, he's, he's gonna disappear in a flash of smoke and teleport into the next dimension. Hey! What, what? the hell do you think you're doing? What? Stay back. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute here. Okay, that went from like zero to a hundred in like five seconds. Wait a minute, what the? Wait, whoa, okay, how did, why did, why did, who, how, how did, okay, how did you, <clears throat> okay. So, let me get this straight. Zero allowed you to keep a knife on you when they, when he brought you here? All right. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. What what exactly is your game plan here? What do you want what do you want us to do? Uh, yeah. That's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you. This is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to- We can't get you out of here! What do you think this is going to accomplish? If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. What, does she, does she know some sort of magic spell to teleport us all home? <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here. Verify. Uh -huh. The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel. The round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? I could slit your throat right now. You call her an idiot, says the person who is holding her at, at knife point with the intent of getting out of here, but we can't, we can't. What is it, what is it he's gonna happen? What, what does he think we can do? I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. If you need her bracelet, then you can't kill her. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now! Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number... Yeah, we know. We read this already. So... What, what do you- Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? You know, if you w if you just wanted to get into the door, you could have just told us, and then we would have said, Oh yeah, that's a great idea. That's what, kind of what we have to do anyway to get out of this place. It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just I'm coming over. Now. All right, this is what you wanted, right? 
Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers, 4 and 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only 3 to 5 people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. It's him. It's obviously him. 9 plus 1 plus 4 equals 14. It, it's very obviously him. More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine. Yes, congratulations, you can do math. And the digital root of fourteen. One plus four is five. Another round of applause for Junpei here for his astounding mathematical skills. In other words. <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. You didn't need to put her a knife when we were going through the door anyway. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Good. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Wait. Here. She's all yours. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. What's beeping? This... I'm going off ahead now. You hear that, right? There's well, something beeping? Also, can't you not go ahead? Is, isn't the whole rule that you have to have at least three people? Wait, wait, what? I'm pretty... You, you shouldn't be able to go through the door. Buddy, what, what do you think you're... What do you... Do? Well, he's dead. He's very, very dead. Clover, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! Open, damn it! This is the third time you've tried to brute force your way through the giant metal door. When will you learn? Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like, like some sort of beeping. Yes, I heard that as soon as as soon as he stepped through the doors. I heard that. You're right. I can hear it too. Oh, wait. Oh, it, oh, is is it going to be a thing where like his the, the the bracelets are programmed to explode if you break the rules? And, and, and it's like a a timer counting down until it explodes cuz he went in there by himself and not with three people. Is that what it is? What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it. Yep, that's exactly what happened. You, you lied. That's exactly what happened. Lied? wasn't supposed to happen this is wrong this is wrong what is happening in there open the door please i'm begging you help me please get me out of here get me out of here Ugh, god damn it why why won't it work Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. Okay, that's... Freaking terrible. Uh, Everyone has the exact same reaction to everything, just an exasperated sigh. Or an exasperated that grunt. Just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. Okay, just you, just, just you, Snake and Seven. What to do? Ah, what did I hit? Ace, Lotus, you think you could get I, 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 here? I, I, I didn't even know I picked that, but one. Okay, so one, eight. Okay, that, that, that still works. That, that does still work as a combination. I, I didn't, I didn't intend to pick that. I didn't even know there was something I could pick, but okay. I, I was just trying to progress the text, and then it popped up on the screen. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. And the next thing I know, I, I, I've picked Ace and Lotus, apparently. Open it. Oh, 
Oh my god. Good god. Whoa, that's pretty bad. He he blew up. <laughs> okay then. June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh... All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <gasps> it's 10 o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up! Finally, Santa! At least we have somebody with some logic here! Let's get going already! Go! Go! No. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. I- Oh my god, he- The reason he went through there is because he didn't follow the rules. We're going to follow the rules, so we're not gonna blow up! Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course, who else? Blood. Oh, blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <laughs> I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. Yeah, he set off the trap by walking into the room by himself. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. Correct. <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh. My apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That yes. was why he died. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Quite simple if you think about that's it. That's exactly what I said. Huh? You still don't... <sighs> All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said? Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? Thanks. I I I already he figured said this out. Only three to five people. There we go. Through one numbered door, right? So now you know that we can still go through the door. And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? <gasps> Zero said that everyone who was verified had to go. All those who enter must leave. And all who enter must contribute. I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. That did- I- I- I did not- Apparently I opened the calculator. I wanted to press spacebar to progress the tech. What- long What button did I press to do that? Did I press- Shift? Control? What- Hold on, what button did I press to open the calculator? I'm- Shift? I'm hitting all the buttons. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but... I have no idea what button I pressed to pull up the calculator. That seems increasingly unlikely. Wait, how, wait, how do I turn on auto scale? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Right control? What does it say? Why does, why does right control activate auto skip? Okay, that's, hold on, let's open up this so I can see what we've missed. Um, okay, what did I, what did I skip? Um, uh... 
that, that seems gruesome likely. He couldn't see them, of course, but perhaps Snake sensed the confused eyes upon him. When he spoke, he gave words to everyone else's thoughts. You know something, I know a great many things, but yes, what does you know here? Snake removed a card from the pocket of his jacket. A card, what does it say? It says... Switch to novel mode, or switch to adventure mode. See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? I'm ser what button did I open the calculator with? I, I'm so con maybe maybe C. No, that make too much sense. I, I hit something at the bottom of the keyboard to open the calculator, and I have no idea what what button it was. Okay, that, that's gonna drive me insane. Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> I see. This is Braille. Sorry, guys, I I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume... It is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you, and only you, with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every numbered door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the numbered door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. What? What? You swallowed a bomb while you were unconscious. I. That's um. Oh boy. That's insanely silly. Contains a bit more. Think of it as a remote field, or timer, for God in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds if. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is... You must also keep in mind that the numbered doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. So long as the door is open, the dead will not function. You would do well to remember this. Lastly, last discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off or disable it at near, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If you... I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, oh. Shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, 
Come out, damn it! Yeah, now I'm not buying even for a second that you swallowed a bomb while you were unconscious. That's just no. There's absolutely no way that happened. There's a bomb inside me. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Why? Why would any of them know anything? We just. He, he the, the guy already has broke down everything about him. Why would anybody here know anything else, know any other piece of information that we don't already know about Zero? Why in the Actually, world? I, I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. Better late than never, I, I guess. his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys. Give me something. You know, like... Surprise or something? I saw that too. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck in a room with a three level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Well, I don't believe that even for a second. Okay. If you had to hesitate, I don't Let's believe that even for, for a second. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Ah, uh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah? Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat, and set up all of... this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group? Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. <laughs> no, 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 no more talking. No more. We, we're done talking. We've talked enough. No, we just spent like 50 minutes talking about the same topic over and over again. No more. We're done. We're go Let's just go into one of the rooms oh and solve God, more puzzles. Enough. All we're doing is talking. Thank you. Oh my god, Santa to the rescue! And by the way, I don't want to go off the impression that I'm like, for anyone who's new to the channel, I don't want to go off the impression that I'm against story-driven games, or games with a lot of reading. I'm not in the slightest. The Walking Dead Definitive Series, that's one of my favorite games of all time. The Ace Attorney Games, one of my favorite game series of all time. I'm not, I'm not opposed to, to story-driven games, visual novels, or games with this, like, where it's choice-driven, or games where you have to read a lot, or anything like that. But we've been sitting here for 50 minutes, 
talking about the same goddamn thing over and over again. I'm ready to move on and go back to solving some puzzles. Can't solve anything? It can't help us find our way out of here. You're really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be alright. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait, I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> And we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. What? If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. That's your concern right now? Your shoes? What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah, so? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine, I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and Snake is two. And if you add Clover's four and my one, the digital route will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital route of 14, one plus four is five. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. But, like, I want to go into door five. Because my, my logic is Wait, basically that the, other th the guy what's who was, um, way? what's it? The, the guy who went into the, the into door number five and, and got himself blown up. I'm guessing he was probably working with Zero before that happened. So he, he must he must have been given secret information to want to go through door number five. So I'm guessing that what that there's probably some secret story details on the other side of that door. So if I'm given a choice here, I'd like to go through num door number five. But am I going to be given a choice? I don't know. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. I... Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I... Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right, then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there, too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... Which oh, look at that. I do actually have a choice. Awesome. Okay. So, I'm not going to end the episode right here. Actually, yes, I am, because this is a good stopping point. I don't want to leave you guys off on a cliffhanger. I'm going to make it very clear. I'm going to choose I'm going to choose door number five. That's the door I want to go through, and that's the choice I'm going to make. The reason I'm stopping here is because it seems like a really good stopping point that where the game literally stops me on a choice screen, so this will be a great place for me to pick up with the next episode. Uh, summary of this episode, 
Not as good as the first part uh, yesterday. It was a bit slower, a bit slower paced. The dialogue was a bit meandering, and they kind of repeated itself a lot, so it wasn't as interesting. But hopefully tomorrow's episode, we'll get we'll go back to some more puzzle solving, some more interesting dialogue and story beats. Uh, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more. Uh, 999, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. Goodbye.